Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Riverdale. Riverdale is a TV series inspired by the Archie comics and cartoons. It stars Archie, a character who first appeared in Pep Comics number 22 back in 1941. I loved this comic as a kid, especially the relationship between Archie and his friends, laid back Jughead, his tomboyish on again, off again girlfriend Betty, and her beautiful, slightly spoiled best friend Veronica, and Veronica's love interest Reggie, who I actually kind of preferred to Archie, but whatever. Long story. Anyway, the series was adapted to television on the CW, and it started off simple enough. Basically, more or less stay true to the characters in terms of their overall look and personalities, but it is the CW, so the tone was always a bit darker and the material much more mature in the young adult drama style. Over time though, the show went further and further off the rails until Riverdale easily became one of the most over the top series in television history. And what do I mean by that? I mean, the show gave us some of the most far-fetched storylines. These kids were targeted by or formed at various times the most bizarre weird games. Archie got mauled by a bear and survived, practically unscathed. Jughead faked his own death for reasons and nobody seemed to have a problem with it. And we got a gargoyle king. Now at this point you may be saying, well, that's kind of comic book stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. And it was, um, a lot of the show was very cartoonish, but I'm not done, no. We also got one character who kept a corpse in her house. Babies were sacrificed on this show. There was an organ harvesting ring targeting the town's teens. This show recently introduced time travel and superpowers. That's where we are now. Riverdale, the adaptation of the Archie comics is canceled because apparently there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> so Riverdale with its absolute disregard for character development, storytelling, good writing, continuity, or logic, and at this point zero respect for the comic characters themselves that it's supposedly based on, will be ending in its seventh season. Riverdale is the latest in a long line of failed series, set to end at the CW. It follows the announced cancellation of Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, Naomi, Legacies, Dynasty, Charmed, Roswell, In the Dark, and 4400. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be more. When discussing Riverdale's end, CW boss Mark Pedowitz explained that he thinks seven years is the right amount. But how this show ever got seven seasons is beyond me, or five, or three. Admittedly, it was a bit of a shock though because Riverdale was at least an entertaining train wreck, but it seems the audience as a whole is no longer amused. Just as diversity and representation aren't enough to substitute for good writing, neither is senseless spectacle. Where the network will go from here remains to be seen, but the CW did start out well enough once upon a time. I wonder if this shuffling of shows and different direction as we change ownership, whether this is all a sign of better things to come. I guess we'll see. But let's discuss in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.